during your career so far you've played in a few countries including Ireland and Portugal and Greece you must have a lot of friends from those teams where you played did you speak with them about the coronavirus and what is the situation yes i speak with, uh, with some friends that i think uh, the coronavirus is the same in the world for everybody i stay only at home during two months uh, i don't play football i cannot see my teammates i uh, just stay here close in my house and it was uh, terrible at the beginning we did not know that the time will be so long like this but after we need to to find some some things to do like cooking like uh, watch series film play the video games but it was very hard to stay alone and close in, the, in my house let's talk about your career you started at le havre what are your sweetest memories from there uh, i stayed there only one year um, my memories is the was a big club with the big player like uh, Fernand Mendy, uh, who play now in Madrid with uh, Lis Mousse, who play now uh, in uh, Sheffield United, uh, Edouard Mendy, who signed with ju just signed in Chelsea now, uh, lot of player Mamadou Sissako, uh, lot of player who play in the second division or play um, in the professional career. And uh, I was young, and uh, was a very good experience for me to to play with them. And I, I think I progressed my football with them. How much did you learn from that club? We know that some of the biggest names in the French football have came from there. Uh, yes, I I play with the with the people that are uh, older than me. So every time they give me advice, uh, I watch. And uh, in the training also, you learn a lot with this player because uh, I was in under-17 and I come in Le Havre uh, with the reserve team and uh, the football is more uh, quick, you know, it's more physical, uh, you need to learn before, so I think I progress in all these aspects. What is so special about their club and the academy that they produce so many good players? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe the scout is good. The scout are good and they bring some good players. You played for the Braga B team, but how much more do you need to play for the first team of Braga? Are you ready? I don't know. For me, uh, I'm ready to play with the, with the first team because sometimes I train with us, uh, with them. So sorry, I play with them. Uh, we make some games, some training, and uh, every time uh, I, I was good. So for me, I have, uh, I'm ready to play with them. I just need uh, the club to uh, trust in me, to put me in the training first, in the group, in the bench, you know. Because when I come with the first uh, six months, I play with the B team and uh, I play very good, you know. I was uh, a main player of the team. And um, I was disappointed when the next season I don't start with the first team. Um, that's why after I, I come in, the, in Beroe. Let's talk about Beroe. When you were at Braga, when that call came for Beroe, what, what did you think of the club and the country, Bulgaria, when they uh, first when I, called you? First, you know, I did not know the club and uh, all the clubs in this country uh, except the Ludogorets, because it's a big club in Europe. And um, first, I didn't want to go there. I say no, 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 because I already was in Greece and uh, I know that is the same type of country, you know, and uh, first I say no, I don't want to go. But uh, after I speak with the the third coach, Shilinkov, uh, I speak um, with some player who play there, like uh, Ahmed Touba, I speak with him. And uh, everybody speak good about the club and the condition. And uh, I really want to play again and to be happy and uh, play in the first t first division and play with uh, adults, you know, because in Braga t in B team in Braga, only young player. And uh, after I think and I I say uh, okay, I want to go there. Maybe it's the best thing for me now. I like the country. Uh, in the summer, the weather is good. In the winter, it's more cold, but uh, the people are good. Uh, 
with me, I don't have problem here. I can live uh, my life uh, without problem. So um, it's a good country. What goals have you set for yourself with Burrow this season? Oh, now uh, we just uh, play game after game, you know, we don't want to project mm -hmm. so far. We take game after game. Now we we are in the in the good way. I, I want uh, to be in the in the third first place in the league, you know. To, and uh, for this season, I want to um, have a place in the European uh, European place. I think this is the goals of me and the team also. Do you have any close friends in the Roy? Yeah, I I have uh, Teddy Mezag, I have Steve Portado, Ilya uh, Ilya Sassani, Ibrahim Conte, um, Alioune Fall, Kylian Lebon. All players, I'm close with them. Same the Bulgarian guy, guys like uh, Krum, like uh, Dimo. I speak with everybody. I don't and, have problem. And how is your Bulgarian going? <laughs> ah, I know a few words, you know, but it's, it's complicated. I, I know some words, but uh, it's not enough. In the Bulgarian league in Ludogorets, there is another Congolese player, Mavis Chibota. Yeah, Do you speak yeah, with yeah. him, and how is your relationship with with Mavis? Yeah, I, I speak with him sometimes. Uh, um, you know, he's, he played there from I think two years. He was already champion of the the, the, the league. Uh, so yeah, we speak. Um, Sometimes about our game, about uh, our life, and because uh, we play together in the same national team, and uh, yeah, we are there together, uh, each other. I support him, he support me, give me advice, and uh, like this, like friend. Does he tell you maybe you should come to Ludogorets? No, this uh, I don't decide. I'm I'm good in Belgrade, really. Uh, I like the team, uh, I like the the staff also, uh, it's like uh, I played there since five years, I'm very good, I feel good here. Let's talk about your national team, you were born in France but decided to represent <laughs> Congo. What was the reason behind this? Uh, because the Congo called me in first place and uh, gave me uh, attention and uh, they tell me they want uh, I play with them. My mom was uh, very proud of me and uh, my dad also and all my family because uh, all my family uh, are there in the Congo. I feel very proud because I see they are proud of me and uh, this is good news. So in Africa, it's a lot of love, a lot of support, a lot of people. It's crazy. In Africa, they are like this. Uh, they support a lot. They they give too much love. They are back uh, back on us every time. Um, so yes, it's very crazy. The the people in Africa when the, you speak football, you know, because in Africa the, the situation is difficult. It's difficult. It's not like uh, in Europe. You know, it's more difficult for the people with the food and the money and this. So when the football comes in the country, when you have national team game, everybody um, forget uh, there are prob problems and they come in the stadium and everybody support the team and this is an incredible atmosphere. We spoke about uh, Maitre Games documentary and he said that he feels like he wants to give something back to the country of uh, mm -hmm. Democratic Republic of Congo. Is it the same for you? Do you want to give something to the country of Congo? Do you want to bring them to maybe win the African Cup of Nations? Who knows? Yeah, of course. Uh, with the national team, I want uh, I want uh, my country be on the top. You know, if I I can bring my team in the um, World Cup, uh, in the African Cup, uh, it's very very good, and all the country. Will be will be proud of us, you know. But it's not easy. But yes, of course, I want to make uh, greatest things with my my country, and I think I will. And I have time, and we have a good team with young players. And I think yes, when you play football, you are more impact with the people, with the in the life, and 
maybe we take more money than some people and yes if we can help the people in the in the world but first you know in your family after if you can help in your country uh, to to make the things uh, grow up of course i will do it i looked at the group uh, which you are in and in the next i think second match you have to play senegal how are you going to stop Sadio Mane and the rest of the Senegalese oh, no, players? No, no. We, we already played this game. We played first Senegal after we played Guinea-Bissau. Uh, the first game against Senegal, we lose uh, 2-0. Um, I play only 10 minutes. But Senegal was a very good team, but uh, I don't play a uh, right bike, so <laughs> I don't take Sadio Mane. <laughs> Where would you like to see yourself in the next two, three years? In which league in the world? In the next two, three years, um, I don't have a specific league. I just want to play in the main league uh, of the Europe, you know, uh, Italy, France, uh, England, uh, Germany or Spain. But uh, I think my profile, my profile is more for the Germany or the England championship. And for me, they are the two best championships in the world, and I really want to play there. Do you see yourself playing for PSG one day? Why not? It's a very big club, and if I'm PSG players, that means I'm a good player, you know? But uh, we will see and let the time make the things, and I work every day and, and every game to to go there in the, this type of club. And if you can go back and speak to the 15-year-old Gaius, what would you tell him? I think I, I say to him to, to, to stay focused, to listen the advice and listen the coach and uh, to work and uh, to tell him that he, he has a very good chance to be there and he uh, have a good chance to make something in the football. And uh, I know that everybody wants to play football. When you're born, everybody wants to be a footballer. And uh, that the time to him is close and you need to be focused uh, until the end and um, not be disturbed, you know, in the school or to make shit uh, outside of, uh, of football. I think. And can you share with us a funny story or a moment from the changing room with your teammates from any of the teams? Last season, when we played in the in changing room, uh, we play against um, we play home against I don't know which team, and we win. You know the game, and uh, Fortado take his phone and uh, make video or make pictures. And uh, he didn't do a purpose, but he he filmed the the shower, <laughs> and and you see two players they are nude, and he put this in the media so, uh, social, you know, yeah. social media. He put this there, and everybody see there, and uh, one girl take this picture and put in another major social media, and after uh, they say, oh, uh, I'm nude there and. Fortado see and his mistakes and, and was a surprise and after he delayed this and it was funny. <laughs> and my last question is, if Gaius was not a football player, where would you have been today? I don't know. Because uh, since I'm young, five years old, six years old, my life is football. I play football outside in the school. I play in the club, so I play only football. And uh, when I was uh, 13, I go academy. So after I stay, I stay every time in the football. So now, if I, I was not a football player, I really don't know what I will do. <laughs>